Hi, once again I'm Pete Secor. I want to talk a little bit more about measuring airflow with a capture hood, with the wrist reporter, and with a pressure module. Uh, as shown previously, an air data multimeter would be removed from its normal spot and replaced with a pressure module from Evergreen Telemetry. Uh, this saves about two pounds of weight, which is about 20%, so the capture hood is easier uh, to hold up against uh, the diffuser. Secondly, wireless results now come to the wrist of the technician that goes up to the damper to make an adjustment so that he can see in real time uh, the effect of the adjustment that he's making uh, to the damper. No need to shout the result back and forth between the technician adjusting the damper and the helper who is holding up the uh, capture hood. Right now though I want to focus on the aspect of the wrist reporter that deals with back pressure compensation. So I'll remove it from, from my wrist and I'll hold it over here so that a close-up can show both the flaps key, uh, the flaps knob, uh, and uh, the wrist reporter at the same time. So there is one uh, display view screen of the wrist reporter that deals with taking back pressure compensation readings and one only. And that one is this split screen view. So this is the screen to use when uh, back pressure compensation readings are being made. At the upper left, and so I have a, a fan that's just blowing a, a, a stream of uh, air through here, so I do not have a seal, so the, back, the, the, the corrected reading uh, will not be a realistic uh, reading, but this will display how the uh, wrist reporter works. So uh, initially, with the flaps open, uh, we have at the upper left uh, an uncompensated uh, reading, a series of uncompensated uh, readings. Just closing the flaps causes back pressure compensated readings uh, to appear at the lower left. Then, if the flaps are opened again, those two readings are frozen and moved to the right. In addition, a little P is added to each quadrant. The P indicates previous reading, prior reading. So those were the uh, readings that were achieved uh, in the, at the, the last time they were measured. And now they may easily be compared uh, to the new readings uh, that are achieved here. First of all, uncompensated. Close the flaps and I start getting compensated. And once again, I can compare to the previous reading on the right. Open and what happens is the new reading, the latest reading moves over to the right, acquires a little P that becomes the previous reading and now I'm comparing again uh, to, the, uh, to the current reading. I'll close the flaps again so now I have uh, uncompensated and compensated. If I press S to store or as you know the, uh, the thumb switch can be pressed a little S appears me meaning that data has been uh, saved in memory. It's been being saved in uh, memory group uh, AB sequence number one and uh, I'll show that data in a minute. First, let's uh, collect another one. So those move over as the prior reading. I'm getting a current reading here. Close the flaps again. Now I have uncompensated plus compensated. I'll press S to store. And I've stored my second one in, in AB. So let's look at the data. Two different ways to look at the data. I'll press V. In this view of the data, I have uh, rows here for n, the number of uh, measurement uh, points uh, taken, the number of readings taken. I have a column for uncorrected and a column for corrected. And the uncorrected and, and the corrected. So the number for each is 2, of course. Uh, I have the sum. I have the average, max, and min being shown for each of those. Uh, obviously, when you're doing back pressure compensated readings, uh, the ones you're most interested in are over here. These are